If you're looking for Madden 19 Ultimate Team coins, be sure to head over to muttcoin.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for an 8% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here, back again, bringing you guys another Madden 19 Ultimate Team Mutt Squads video. Today, guys, we got matched up against one of the biggest icons in all of sports gaming history. You saw the team there, guys, stacked with legends, and we are playing a legend. That's right, folks. Chris Smoove. Yes, that is the real Chris Smoove. His offense was loaded up there in that loading screen. Today, guys, we are playing with Ryan915 and Daffodil Killer at quarterback. I'm playing coach as usual. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm a bum. Whatever. It's just because I don't want to build a team. Okay. And I donate cards too. So, hey, give me a break. But we're trying to get things going on offense here. Trying to run the ball right off the bat with Saquon Barkley. That's a good card, obviously. Uh, but, man, the pass rush gets through. I want you guys to take a look at this real quick, by the way. What is this pass? Pass protection. What is our right guard doing? He did not protect at all. He didn't even touch the guy. What is what is going on? That was a four-man rush. Like he didn't even send a blitz or anything. Like I have no words for that. But anyway, on defense now, Jadavion Clowney making a nice play on the first play of the defense. And on the second play, watch Clowney again coming off that left side. He's gonna get around the edge. That cart is so fast and he gets a big sack there salutes the crowd and yes it is a third and 18 now chris move playing offense for the opposing team here looking down the field here looking for the big play doesn't find anything he's going to try and take off with steve young throw off his back foot and that could have been a pick why would that not be an interception i mean i know he's throwing it to the kind of the open field but in madden like if you throw it off your back foot it's either usually a completion or an interception. Like, it's very rarely not one of those two. First play back on offense now, and oh, that was so close. That was our first pass that we actually got off, and Ryan had the defense beat there with Tyreek Hill, but Carson Wentz just could not quite keep it in bounds. Pass rush again, getting in there this time. I think Daft personally, I think he kind of scrambled into that sack, to be honest with you, not trying to throw him under the bus. Now, on this play, I showed you guys there. I highlighted that guy because I saw him coming off the edge, and I tried to block him. And of course, I got zero animation because apparently you can't block if you're going out for a route. I didn't even know that. I thought out of the backfield that you would be able to. And look at their, their sake. Their, oh, never mind. That was Le'Veon Bell. But either way, he's just breaking tackles, man. Like, what? But anyway, our defense does get a nice block shed there. So I can't really complain too much about the fact that they were getting block sheds. The only thing I'm going to complain about is that first play where that guy just came through completely untouched. That was ridiculous. Third and 11 here. This was one of the best play calls of the whole game. I have to give this one to Chris Smoove. He's setting us up, making it look like he's going to pass, and boom. He hits us with a draw play up the middle and picks up the first down on third and 11 back from, what, his own, like, two-yard line practically. I mean, he was basically in his own end zone. Super gutsy call there, and again, he takes it up the middle. Big gain there. Could have almost broken that one for a touchdown. Four rushes at this point. 33 yards for Le'Veon Bell. We usually do not get run on, so I have to hand it to him. Nice play there, but right here, Ryan sent Sean Taylor off the edge on a blitz. A great call there. We did stop the run if that was going to happen, and Sean Taylor was just keying in on the quarterback. Gets a big hit on him, and he's going to come off the edge here again. We've got pressure coming, pressure coming. Steve Young throwing off his back foot. Makes a nice completion there to the running back out of the backfield. But it doesn't really matter. It's not a huge gain. Third and nine. And he's going to try and throw it down the field here. But the pass rush is coming in. Into double coverage from Moss. No interception. Back in fourth game here. No offense really getting put together by either of us at this point. But a nice pass there by Daft. Does pick up a first down. We had we were both wide open there to be completely honest with you. So another first and ten here. And we're looking, looking. And man. Michael Strahan just breaks off of his block, and he just gets the sack. I mean, there's not a whole lot you can do about that. Daff has, like, a good offense, but it's not anything spectacular. So his pass rush or his uh pass protection just doesn't really stand up to this really good pass rush and uh yeah so right there was a check down trying to gain us a couple yards for field position basically and we're gonna punt the ball back to chris move on offense now he only had a few seconds left here we're trying to get the ball back here third and six and he's gonna fire it into traffic i was thinking that was gonna be an interception that's actually i, I believe mutt master ryan shazier i'm surprised he didn't break on that ball for an interception but either way we do get the ball back 
Ah, and of course, Michael Strahan again breaks off of the block. Not much he can do about it. Trying to stay in the pocket, trying not to run. We did tell him that, and uh, he was going for it, but... You know, there's not a whole lot you can do about it. Saquon Barkley, I feel like, or Le'Veon Bell there. I keep saying Saquon Barkley, but no, Le'Veon Bell. It's it's because he's in a Giants jersey. It's because he's in a Giants jersey. But anyway, he looked like he fumbled there to me, and he didn't for some reason. We didn't get the animation. That sucked. Set up a third and three, and we do get another sack there. Bruce Smith gets the sack as Smooth tried to get out of the pocket and try and fire something down the field, but we just bring the heat with that defense. Now, second and 10 for us on offense. He's finally starting to pass it to me out of the backfield, but they made a really nice play with Anthony Barr there to wrap me up right as I caught it. Third and seven now, and again, Michael Strahan with his third sack of the game. Just, like, you can't even hardly do anything about that. Yeah, Daft could have stepped up into the pocket maybe, but still, I mean, that it's just the pass rush is crazy right now. And again, Le'Veon Bell, man, just got really great animations there. We probably should have hit him twice in the backfield. And he ends up picking up the first down. And he's going to get closer into field goal range. That's basically what they're working for here. It is the end of the third quarter. All they have to do is get a first down. And they could pretty much put this one in for a field goal if they wanted to. They're very close, actually, here to getting a field goal. And look at this. He is hit, and he breaks off of it to get a first down. Heartbreaking stuff down to the 33-yard line. So they're in field goal range now. So now we know they're probably going to try and run out the clock here as much as they can. Kick their field goal if they can. So it's first and 10. We're expecting run, and we get it. We hit him in the backfield there. Bryant Young, big play there by the defensive tackle. We brought a lot of pressure there on him, to be honest with you. We knew the run was coming. Second down, we actually did expect another run, and he ends up passing, but he goes with the quarterback or with the quarterback run, and oh my gosh, he got really lucky there. I think he was trying to slide, but his guy didn't do that. He dove right into us, and if you play a lot of Madden, you know that that's usually a fumble as is that animation right there that's usually also a fumble so two plays in a row where we felt like we probably should have had a fumble and we don't end up getting it so they're going to go for a long field goal here 51 yards and boom it is through the uprights good kick there by Chris Smoove got to give him the credit man they did get the field goal so it is three to nothing we haven't put a single point on the board yet our offense has been struggling this whole game two minutes left it is clutch time and we're definitely trying to put up these points in the final two minutes of the game. Ryan does find an opening there in the defense. Makes a nice possession grab on second and 11. We pick up the first down. Now, we're looking deep here on this one. Take, take a look at this. What is that guy doing? As Chris Smooth would say, give that guy a map. And he doesn't get back in time. So we have a free play here. Ryan's going deep with Tyreek Hill. We fire it deep. We've got him. Tyreek Hill is overthrown. How do you overthrow Tyreek Hill? What? That was heartbreaking. So it is first and five. And Daff is just under constant pressure. Look at this. He actually put the running back into pass protection. He broke off of the play action quickly and Saquon just didn't help at all with the pass protection. An absolute disaster there. If we had time, that probably could have been a big play and unfortunately it didn't happen. Second and five here and Daff's looking again. He's got me underneath, but he decides to go over the top and oh my gosh, we can't make the contested catch and it is intercepted. Oh my gosh, heartbreaking. Again, another heartbreaking play on second and five. They do get the interception. Now, we do have all of our timeouts left, so we are able to stop them on the first two runs that they did. Third and 13 here, and he nearly broke that one, but we do make the tackle, call the final timeout, so we're going to get the ball back here with about a minute left on the clock. 59 seconds left to be exact. Daft's looking. He finds me underneath, and we do get a nice first down here, down to about the mid-40, so about the 42-yard line or so. And we've got to pick up about another 20 yards or so to even have a chance at a field goal. But another 25 yards to have a good shot at it. 30 seconds left on the clock. And Daff is hit while he throws. Again, the pass protection is just terrible for some reason. And that is going to do it. We're shut out against Chris Smoove and his homies. Oh, that was my first loss in Mutt Squads, guys. That was the very first Mutt Squads loss that I had this season. So I got to give it to these guys. They played a really great game, especially defensively. Congratulations to them. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you go ahead and drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new as well. Uh, guys, I'm really enjoying doing a lot of Mutt Squad stuff. I know they don't get a ton of views, but this is the type of content that I like to put out as far as gameplay goes. I don't think you're going to be seeing a lot of like head-to-head -head gameplay out of me this year 
we'll see. I mean, maybe that changes as things go on, but for the most part, I'm personally preferring doing Mutt Squad's videos, so I hope you guys like this content. If you do, make sure you drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and of course, go check out Chris Smooth. If you guys have never seen him somehow, one of the best like gaming YouTubers of all time, if not the best. So definitely go check him out. Thanks again, guys. And uh, last thing, I just want to give a shout out and uh, a memory, a rest in peace to Spot Me Please and True Boy. Um, I, I wish that I had like a better way to end this, a happier way to end this. But what happened on Saturday or on Sunday, excuse me, was just horrifying in this community. And I can't believe that we are losing two people, two of the best competitive Madden players of all time. And uh, from all accounts, two very good people as well. Rest in peace to them. That's all I'm going to say on this issue. Uh, but again, rest in peace to them. Prayers up to their family. You know, go ahead and donate to their GoFundMes as well so that their families can be taken care of going forward. Thanks again, guys. And I will talk to you guys again soon.